Chitafu omurunji wa wama nyi katonda yenza byonna Nkweba za orokubanga nange wanjaga denyi miriru rwalero maso gaba tukuvu. Mbeko chenjo gira kuchigambo chaba ito kusinza. Ato kusinzo kukuvu nama. Chitange omurembe gunowe guatu katu ulirange chochitu karu virira. Na emu kama baka matato nakuru alero. Aka ungezi kalero manyenti no ugenda kwera ganga guwe wama nyingo zembula mubu wafi. Ngatu tukole chitweke duwa chitweke duwa kola. Tatu mtu kufaba tukufu kusinza kwe tukenda mwa unako uruwa lero. Chechi ntunze chenye nzo kutuwa la nti chituruwa wonyo ohuchiko langa fe ba fe. Okubela ne personal relationship weyo ne katonda. Na ye katonda wange mtu kufaba tukufu nga tuteka teke miti majafe. Oku ingira mka ungezi kalero kuleta sadaka ezo kusinza. Katonda wange wera genga guwe wa amanyi, wera genga guwe wabu yinza. Nga omuzana wabu wabu lide chika mwona gama antino kusinza kulikoche kukola mwonsa yomoyo. Tatu mtu kufaba tukufule kabibe wo. Chiyoke chitegele kekenti guwe katondo wa amanyi ya itapenina. Erinyari ya tukufuli gurumizi wedi tendeze buwe. Muli nyeri ya kristo yesu mwana katondo mwana mtusabi. Praise be to God. We want to appreciate our good God. Who has, who has brought us this far still alive? Oksinza uh, worship. Kwangwa konga andie yo Maction Falls. Worship came upon me when I was in Maction Falls. Nene unya katonda. And I was surprised at God. And your song, Pastor Justin, came to me. That when I look at the world that you made, I'm so marveled. And then I worshipped God. From the very start. Up to the very end, we the place. Place. Was, we're, we're going around seeing the waters, the mountain top. I returned having seen the greatness of our God I had never seen before. The spirit of worship came upon me when we were getting into the gate of Maction Falls. When I saw this, the sun set. I saw the sun with pillars that it had made. But it looked so beautiful. But it had brought up a reflection on another side. And it was shining bright as if another sun was from that place. That is where I began to sing Justin's song. From that moment, I didn't remain the same. We began to move around to see the animals. We were delayed a little bit because we wanted to see the cats. 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 Because we were delayed a little bit uh, I wanted to see those animals that fall in the cat family like tigers, lion, the lion, and the others that fall in that entire family. And because we left the hotel a little late, the, these whites were afraid that they would not see them. But the animals were so many. Zebra. The zebras. There were so numerous. 
the rhinos. You would see them so discouraged. Because those animals, you can only see them very early in the morning. And then I resorted to singing Justin. song. And then I said the God who showed me his glory of the sun. The one which he told Job, you don't even know where I keep it. I want these people to see the animals. And then scriptures began to flow in my, in my heart. Then afterwards, I would laugh at myself. <laughs> like I was wondering have the animals become a big deal to me but I continued and went forward and we drove a distance but you would see them so discouraged I remembered yet another scripture that those who wait upon the Lord they will soar. And I began to confess that let these people see your glory. Usually when we go there, we've often seen one lion, but from a distance. I said, Lord, this time show them a number of lions. The moment I put out those words out of my mouth, we've met those people who had just seen them. And they told our guide that you go down to the water, you will see them. I began to worship in my heart. And we realized that our way down to the waters, we met about 10 lions. Now I looked in amazement and I was like, you are really God. You are really God. Can you imagine you've answered me in such a way? That is why I've appreciated so much Justin Justin's message. That worship has doors that it can open you've never seen before. Maybe it may not carry meaning to you. But from that room in which I was, it was a very very powerful thing. We, four meters. We looked at these lions just close to us about four meters away. We looked at these lions but they were not paying attention to us. I saw the lion uh, feeding the one. I asked the guide how come we are so near? Won't it go wild? I asked the guide how come we are so near? Won't it go wild? And he said the first thing that you learn when once you come to this place is the way you conduct yourself. The behaviors. Your behavior. You must learn the behavior of each animal. So I went further to worship God. The man spoke a lot. So many things that concern the lions. And he said, the lion of Judah. You cannot scare it. It doesn't fear. It doesn't run away from any animal. In case it is a little shocked, it simply attacks. It doesn't fear anything. Our Lord Jesus Christ is the Lion of Judah. 
It's a small animal. But it doesn't even fear an elephant of so many kilograms. But other animals are scared of it. No wonder it's called the king of the jungle. I bring up all this to show you our God. Because worship implies who you knowing who God is not praising praising implies you talk about what God, what God has done but worship implies you talk about what God is they tell you about the animals a mere animal which is not as intelligent as a human being it doesn't commit adultery. Teyenda. It does not fornicate. But it mourns. And yet there are some kinds of animals. Even when it is still young. Once the wife dies. It does not remarry. Zirina, zirina families, they make up families. If it has decided to become a widow or a widow, it goes and joins the other family which is not searching for a partner. How great is our God. And solo. And may I animal? Hopkins is giving me an tino. When put at the wall of fuging and sorrows on his okunsi. I, as an individual who has told that I have given you authority and dominion over the animals, is it more intelligent than me? Mama, mama. They were telling me all sorts of things, but I was just worshipping. But we as human beings go mad. You go crazy and you fall in love with a fellow girl. And then you become a gay. And you become a gay. But yet for animals, once you tamper with the wife, it will come and attack you. At least it loses <inaudible> It cannot dare be interested in a fellow uh, male. <inaudible> Our God is great. <inaudible> Our God is great. <inaudible> He's so great. That took me deeper into worshiping God. The sun keeps moving. Who has ever thought about it? Who has ever thought about it? Always when I am in worship. When they, t they tell us the earth is on an axis. It, the earth goes round. It means the sun is But how many of you have ever felt it or heard about it that really the earth is going round? Our God is great. He has never forgotten. He has never, he has never forgotten from morning till sunset. He has never forgotten to bring a new day. Even that axis on which it rotates has never gotten past Our God is great. He is a great God. Hallelujah. Amen. He is powerful. Last week we were traveling to Moyo. We got onto a plane from Kajansi to Moyo. But I was still in worship. And it went high in, over the clouds. I remember the scripture that is in Psalms. When David was worshiping God, having been attacked by enemies, he first worshiped him and talked about his greatness. 
He first worshipped him and talked about who he is. He said, you are the creator of the heaven and earth. No one stands where you are. No one can do what you do. No one can be likened to you. But oh my God, look at the big army that has attacked me. The Bible says that when he cried unto the Lord, his voice was raised and it went up to God. When I was reading that scripture, I began to draw images and he heard and I began, I began to think that when he cried, his cry went up to the temple And the Lord was in his temple. I want you to figure out what God was doing at that time. In his temple, probably they were saying, you are holy, holy as God. Holy, holy. Holy, holy. Holy, but then he had his son beginning to tell him issues that he had first worshipped him. He said, these people have attacked you. And the Bible says he heard. The, the prayer came from down and down to the to the ears of God. God. When he, it got into the ears, it Bible went down to the heart. The Bible says and God was angered. When he was angered, he stood up. And he began to breathe through his nostrils. And there came out tear gas. He is so great. I don't even know what he saying. The Bible says that his word is fire. And it burns. His, his word is a fire and it is a hammer that speaks And the Bible says that from his mouth came fire. And the fire became hot And the Bible says he came down on the dark clouds. So it implies in his temple, God told those who are worshiping. He told those who are worshipping and the angels that wait a moment the, the Bible says and God strikes the enemies. He hit them. And he destroyed all of them. He didn't stop there. And the, David said, he got me and put me in a straight place. And everybody else saw him as victorious. Who is that God? Say, he is God. He's surprising. That is what is called worship. But for us, the moment we get challenged, you go straight. You go see them. Oh my God, I have suffered. No wonder why. No wonder some of those prayers are never answered. The lady said, who was here that she raised in the box. And says, you hear what they are saying. Hallelujah. Amen. God wants to be worshipped. He loves the worship. He says, in Zay. In Zay. The Lord. Mukama. The creator of heaven and earth. I. In Zay. 
Musa bamu yabuza na gamantino bano ojon tumamba gamanti anyan tumye. Moses asked him for the people you're sending me to. Na gamantino gendo ba gamanti I am that I am. And he said hey! gendo ba gamanti zendi. I am that I am. Nobody can fully describe him. Nobody can fully describe him. He's great. He's mighty. What can you liken him to? The, the scriptures have already said. Hey, Isaiah. Chapter 44. I am always troubled. But please stand up and read this scripture. Isaiah chapter 44. And verse 6. And see the mighty one who will worship. You will see how he likens you to. Isaiah chapter 44, verse 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no good. Do you hear what it says? Let us say it again. Those who say he cannot worship himself, he says you haven't just understood me. Thus says the Lord, the king of Israel, your king, Israel. Praise the Lord. Amen. The king of Israel and his redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first. And I am the last. Besides me, there is no any other God. Amen. Maybe you haven't yet comprehended it. Maybe just the way I may stand down at and I Hopkins. And then I begin to say, in the Hopkins. Here I am the first and I'm the last. Those who hate me just grow. But the one who is mighty, the one who is amazing, he says, in the I am the first. I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. Do you understand, you worshippers? Besides God in Juba, there is no God. Hallelujah. Amen. Isaiah chapter 40. Isaiah chapter 40. And verse 15. I told you to listen to that and pay attention. Behold, the nations are as a drop in the bucket and her counted as small do you see him in his temple and proudly saying those words do you see that God in that uh, spiritual uh, realm where, where we have been taught about he stands in his temple and what does he say behold the nations are as small eh, as a drop in a bucket. And now those who are proud over each other. Listen to that word. He says, 
He's, he's not even mentioning your name as an individual. But he says nations. Nations. They are like a drop in a bucket. They are like a drop. That should just tire you up and you worship him. And then you begin saying, but God, I've been asking you for things. It seems to be he says, all the nations, the way he created them, in all continents as they are, they are like just a drop of water in, a, in your own bucket. And are counted as, as the small dust on the scales. Look, he lifts up the isos as a very little thing. What is he called? Stand up and say he's the one called God. He is, he is called God. How can you familiarize with him? Yeah. Now you are just as an individual. For you may call me big. Now I ask myself, now how do I, what do I really if measure? If all nations are as a drop in a bucket, now how about you? All those things when, when you read the Bible and see the things they just humble you down and you go down to your knees and then you down and say you are God. Hallelujah! Amen! You, down, you may go down to your knees or to and tell him you are God. Tell him you are God. Now what am I? If nations are like a drop, then what am I? What do I measure up to? Please bring your forehead down. That's what is called shaka. Please, can you bow? Those things we have left there to the Muslim They ought to be here to us who have understood the truth. There are certain things that bring you down. And you said truly you are God. You are God. Sit back. That is what we are going to do with this evening. That is why I love to read about the Bible. Every day I discover something. I discover something that humbles me and I ask myself, who am I? He only pities me to be alive. He only pities me to stand before you to speak these words. Oh, yo. That God. He speaks in Isaiah 55. And he says, my thoughts are not your thoughts. It's like he, he is distancing himself from you. My thoughts have never been like your thoughts. And your ways are not my ways. Because 
Just the way you see the heavens so far from the earth. So are my ways very far from the earth. If you're still thinking about this, as Eagles Choir we composed the song that when you know him from the west, the following day you will find him in the east. You cannot familiarize with him. You cannot fully understand him. Every other time he's a different person. We often know the darkness as for devil. But the scriptures have said he came down on the, in the darkness. Continue to understand that God he is the creator of all things. This evening, I want us to go into worship. When you have fully comprehended what God is, prepare your heart. Confess of all your unrighteousness. Because remember, He does not those worshiping Him to worship the sinners. He is so righteous that He doesn't look on sin. Prepare, I mean yourself, okay. prepare yourself to come in his presence. Don't come to see the shaka praises. Come and meet your God. Hallelujah. Amen. Prepare your heart. I, you rem I remember very well. In the Old Testament, when they talk about the way the temple was constructed, and whatever was in the temple, I cannot name all of them because I don't know all of them. But because of worship, I came to know some of them. That it is only the high priest who went to represent the people. But he had to purify himself in order to get to the Holy One into the inner courts. And then he would be able to say, God, you're so powerful. You are the one who forgives. They say so many things I can't mention now. The way they used to, the, the, all the things they to do. The animals he had to slaughter to give the sacrifice of blood. But it is also said he had to sacrifice himself. But they often tugged upon him a rope or a chain for him to get into the Holy of Holies because if he wasn't perfect, he wouldn't come back. When he got in there, he would do the sacrifice. He would give the sacrifice before the Lord. If the sacrifices were accepted, they would come back. And once on seeing him, they would shout aloud. If the sacrifice was not accepted, they would understand that he was not accepted in his guide. And nobody would easily go in there. They would only have to pull the rope and pull oh, him out. That, that is the mighty one we are talking I about mean, when we go to worship him in the evening. He's so great. He doesn't look on sin. Come when you have cleansed yourself. Come when you have purified yourself. The scripture that has been talked about that is in John so that it can come to pass that he is seeking for those who worship him in truth and in spirit. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you.